Let's work through the following problem. Your dream is to become a millionaire. For that, you will start putting money in your bank account that pays a 6% annual interest rate. You will be depositing $500 monthly. How soon will your dream come true? First, let's see what's going on here. Uh, we are planning to deposit $500 monthly. Let's underline it. This tells us that we have um, a repeating cash flow of $500, uh, repeating a number of times. Um, so this makes it an annuity uh, because it doesn't specify when the deposits would be made at the beginning or at the end of each month. We assume the default case, which is at the end of each month. This means we have an ordinary annuity rather than an annuity due. Now, what do we need to find? How soon will your dream come true? In other words, how soon you, will you become a millionaire? This means we need to solve for um, the number of deposits that will need to be made. So what do we uh, need to know in order to find the number of deposits? Because we are dealing with an annuity, what must be known is either the present value or the future value of this annuity. What are we given here? We know that we want to become a millionaire. That's one million dollars. We want to become a millionaire in the future, which means one million dollars is our future value, right? So our future value of our ordinary annuity is one million dollars <coughs> right then the deposit amount is five hundred dollars um, sorry that's five hundred not five thousand and it's monthly because it's monthly Everything throughout our calculations must reflect the monthly frequency, such as uh, the interest rate. So what's the interest rate? We are given 6% annual rate, which means we take 6% divided by 12 and get half a percent per month, monthly. And so when we are calculating the number of deposits, what we are going to be finding is the, mon the number of monthly deposits. And now everything is monthly. The number of monthly deposits, the interest rate per month, and the deposit made every month. Right? Um, so if you draw our timeline, we are here. We want to see um, how many deposits, right? How many? we will need to make in order to become a millionaire one million dollars in the future this is the future value of our monthly annuity how do we solve this let's bring up the financial calculator turn it on um, let's increase the number of decimal places second format uh, let's change it to seven seven enter now, if you turn the calculator off and turn back on, it's now going to round everything to the seventh decimal place. And uh, it might sense to make uh, this change because we are going to be dealing with a lot of very small numbers, such as half a percent um, interest rate per month. Okay, let's begin. One million dollars. Um, let's change it to a negative value by pressing the plus minus button is our annuity future value you press the FV button we are going to make $500 deposits 500 we keep it as positive because um, one of the two dollar amounts we are entering must be negative and the other one must be positive it doesn't matter which one is which so 1 million was negative let's keep 500 as a positive payment. So I press the PMT button, payment. 
then our interest rate must be monthly, which is half a percent, 0 0.5, the IY button, and what we want to compute is the number of deposits. Compute N. 480.777056 months. Okay, so let's write it down. 480. Point, uh, seven, let's round it a little bit, seven, eight months. And <clears throat> because it's too large, let's just make it, um, you know, simpler and see how many years that means. Uh, because this is months, to get years, we need to divide the number of months by 12. So I can actually continue with my calculations and press the divide button and then 12 and then equal. So a little over 40 years, 40.06 years. So let's put it here, 40.06 years. <coughs> and let's um, highlight it. And this is our answer.